<laughs> I'm joking, that's my hand. It's not a tarantula, don't worry. I wouldn't go near one. So in this video, we're going to look at facts about tarantulas. And I'm swaying away from top 10 here, and I'm doing top 40. Yep, top 40 facts about tarantulas. And this video is a suggested video by my friend Sinister Apprehension, who focuses on Dragon Ball Z and his own original artwork and comic book thing he's got going on, which is called Dark World, which I'm going to be a voice actor in. So if you want to see those, then I'll leave a link to Sinister Apprehension in the description below. Also, his wife was apparently the one who asked him to ask me, so her channel is all about a tarantula that she owns called Ursula. And the link to that channel will be below as well because I'm sure if you like this video then you'll like that video. So here we go, here's 40 facts about tarantulas. There are more than 850 different types of tarantula species. Tarantulas live primarily in the tropical, subtropical and desert parts of the world with the majority of them in South America. Tarantulas occasionally have to shed their exoskeleton so that they can grow bigger, similar to that of snakes shedding their skin. It literally looks like the tarantula is crawling out of its own skin. While the tarantula is molting, they can actually replace their internal organs, like female genitalia and the stomach lining. They can even regrow lost legs or their pedipalps, which are their short sensory appendages. Tarantulas mostly eat insects, but some of the larger species enjoy larger prey, which can include frogs, mice, small lizards, and even small birds. Most of the ground-based tarantulas are actually burrowers, and they use their webs to line the walls of their burrow, rather than to catch prey. Tarantulas line the walls of their burrows because it helps keep sand and dirt out. It also helps prevent against ant infestation. If a tarantula doesn't actually have a burrow, it will create one out of the silk as its web. Tarantulas also use a tripwire tactic. So at the entrance of its burrow, there will be a bit of web that comes out and anything that passes by will cause vibrations to go through and he'll sense that so that it might make it easier for him to sense a prey and go out and kill it. When prey comes close, a tarantula will usually ambush it, holding it with its legs, paralyzing it with venom, and then killing it with its fangs. A tarantula's jaw is so powerful, they'll actually crush the prey. Tarantulas will inject the prey with a digestive enzyme, so that it can liquefy the internals of the animal, while it pretty much eats it with a straw-like mouth. Yeah, lovely. Before the male can mate with a female, he spins a special web and sprays it with sperm. Afterwards, he rubs himself on that web, collecting it with his pedipalps. That's an interesting way of doing it, but I don't want to look like this guy. The females will release a pheromone to help guide the males to their location. When a male finds a female's burrow, he'll let her know by tapping his foot at the entrance. If the female isn't interested, you know, because like a man covered in sperms just knocked on her door, then she may just outright ignore him, or worse, she could try to attack him and kill him. And even if the male is successful, during the mating process he has to hold back her fangs. Once they have finished mating, the male has to quickly escape, or the female will attack him. You know, I'm starting to think the whole male side of this just isn't worth it. The average lifespan of a wild tarantula is about 20 to 30 years, although the females actually live about twice as long as the males. Some tarantula species can produce silk from their feet, not their abdomen. The largest tarantula is the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. As the name suggests, it eats birds. The smallest tarantula, I hope I can pronounce, Acanthropalma anae, anae? Something like that. Yeah, that type of tarantula is about the size of a fingernail. Tiny! You know, that one might actually be cute. <laughs> they can use their webs to build hammocks so that they can rest, and also where they can lay their eggs. If a tarantula has a particularly large meal, after that it can go without food for nearly a month. Even the Goliath tarantula, if he bit you, it would not be fatal. 
So the venom can cause discomfort for a couple of days, but it's only fatal to those that are actually allergic to it. Goliath tarantulas sometimes hunt small, young birds. The tarantulas can make a hissing sound despite having no vocal cords. This fairly distinct hissing sound is called stridulation, and it can be heard up to 15 feet away, and they make the noise by rubbing the bristles on their legs together. At one time, a female tarantula can lay between 500 to 2,000 eggs, which will all be placed in an egg sac, and they'll be kept between her legs where she can guard them until they hatch. Tarantulas are cannibalistic in nature, so if another one goes on the other one's territory, it will usually be a fight to the death. Tarantulas are considered a delicacy, they are fried with herbs and spices, and people in Cambodia enjoy them as a crunchy snack. Females will molt, shedding their exoskeleton throughout their entire lifetime so that they can keep continuously growing bigger. Whereas the males, once they mature, they will stop shedding. They have eight tiny eyes which can sense slight movements, and the hairs that cover its body are extremely sensitive to vibration. Some species of tarantula have an adhesive part on the tips of their legs which helps them climb the smoothest of surfaces. The name Tarantula comes from a spider that was living in southern Italy, in a town called Taranto, where people had been saying that a species of spider there had a fatal bite. They convinced themselves that the only cure to its bite was to dance until exhausted, by which time the poison had been sweated out of them and they were cured from a bite that wasn't actually lethal in the first place. The dance that is based on that folklore is called the Tarantella. Some of the most popular and colourful tarantulas are becoming threatened in the wild due to collecting from the exotic pet trade. One of the protected species is the Mexican red kneed tarantula. An international trade of this tarantula is restricted under law. Some South American species of tarantula have a secret weapon. When they face a prey they will rear up to make themselves look bigger and present their fangs. But actually the fangs aren't the dangerous part. If the tarantula is going to attack the predator, he'll turn around and use his back legs and scrape hairs off of his body. Now those hairs are particularly dangerous because they're basically arrowheads and they're very painful and dangerous, especially if they can catch your eyes. Tarantulas do not sleep in the same way that we do. However, they still have the same cycle of rest and activity. The earliest known fossil of any spider was Otocopus, which lived 380 million years ago. But the true form of a spider is only considered to have been around for 250 to 300 million years, and tarantulas must have evolved not long after that. The tarantula hawk isn't actually a tarantula, it's actually a wasp, but for a tarantula to encounter it would be the worst thing for him. Because the tarantula hawk will sting the tarantula which will paralyze it. Then it will lay its eggs on him and when those eggs hatch, he will be eaten alive. Most tarantulas will be killed by a predator in just the first few years of their life. Anyway, thank you for watching. I thought I'd end it on a, on a positive note. Sorry, but facts are facts, good or bad. But yeah, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then tell YouTube that you liked it by clicking that like button below, and if you really want more content, then subscribe, and I'll, I'll be releasing more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. While the tarantula, tarantula, it will create one. It will create one out of this, while it drinks it with a straw. Knock, knock. Covered in sperm. <laughs> These female tarantulas are into some kinky stuff. Oh my god, how the f do I pronounce that? <laughs> I forgot about that one. I was meant to look it up before I started recording.